I find that really tough. Don't ask me, ask Sunday Steve, he'll explain everything. Good morning, welcome to week seven. The date is Wednesday, the 26th of August. So I've done it again, I haven't done a session on the Monday, I'm starting on the Wednesday again. Uh, for different reasons than last time. This time, um, I don't know if you remember at the end of last week I was moaning that my hip's a bit sore. Uh, that continued over the weekend and it's been a bit achy so I thought I'd be sensible and not run on the Monday. And today I'm going to do some prehab work and some activation work before I run and then get on with my run and see how I feel afterwards. So this is what my workouts look like today. Week 7, all of our runs are 25 minute runs non-stop. So as you know by now, I review my perception of different aspects of health and well-being to see if the runs affect them. So at the end of last week, this is how I reviewed these areas. I will do that again and see how it is this week. I also had an additional target this week to work on relaxation and mindfulness, and that's what I'll be doing. And that's all there is to say other than let's go on with some prehab work with this machine I've got. I'm going to really give my muscles a good going over. I'll see you in the workout. Mm. It's midday, it's warm, and I'm about to do a 25 minute run. I've just had a, a conversation with someone at work called Ben. Shout out to Ben if you're watching. Who's a keen runner, and he said to work on my foot placement when I'm running to see if that helps with my hip. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to try and get lost in a podcast for this run today and see how, how that gets on for me. Other than that, I'm motivated, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. One third of the way in, and I'm very aware of two things. The heat, and the fact I'm going slow. But I'm moving, and that's all that matters. I'm not gonna lie, I find that really tough. I was really aware of the heat. Literally straight after recording that last thing, it was a struggle to the end. Little moan, I was getting pissed off with my phone. Excuse the language. I couldn't see, it was too bright, so I couldn't see what I was trying to do. Recording was an issue. Trying to turn the podcast back on was an issue. So it put me in a bad mood for the last stint. So that's just me being honest. I've done it, it feels okay. But I guess it's more about what my next step date's gonna be on Friday. So, how's the hip Friday, Steve? Don't ask me, ask Sunday Steve, he'll explain everything. Feels okay, only slightly stiffer than the other side, but that's all I can say. Welcome to Sunday, the 30th of August. I'll catch you up the reasons why I'm running on a Sunday after. I just wanna get on with a run. A bit cold, a bit nippy quite nice actually so hopefully that will help me with my 25 minute run today um, I'm gonna do my old route I've been doing a new route recently or a different route and I haven't been enjoying it as much well that's a lie I've been finding that I run harder that's what I should say so I'll see if I do my old route again if it makes psychologically the run easier we'll see I'm gonna crack on with it I think I'm gonna listen to the podcast today and uh, I'll let you know how I get on I'm halfway in, and there's something else I've got to know, psychologically. So, when I'm doing this route, for some reason, my Fitbit tells me I'm doing around a five minute kilometer pace, five, between five minutes and five minutes 30. When I'm doing a different route, when I feel like I'm running at the same pace, it's telling me I'm doing a seven minute kilometer and what? I'm sorry, seven minute kilometer. Psychologically, now I know that I'm not running at a five, minute kilometer pace but psychologically it helps me for some reason rather than it being a slow pace fingers a fast pace is a motivator even though I know it's not true last five I feel okay I'll get it done it'll be easier than last session completed that run got progressively easier and I felt very stiff to start just kept on moving kept on ticking it over and it got easier and easier. So I need two runs this week. I'm gonna show you the two distance difference between Wednesday's run and today's run, because I feel like there's a difference, but I can't check right now. So here's the difference. Uh, my guess is maybe like half a kilometer more this time. 
maybe slightly more, I don't know. Anyway, one more thing to say. The podcast I was listening today was all about Messi's contract and how and if he goes to Manchester City, they can afford to pay it through different means. Uh, comment down below, where's Messi gonna go? My prediction right now, as of the 30th of August, he's gonna stay at Barcelona. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna wash up and let's review the week. Fairly quick review this week, because it's Sunday and I've got two expecting kids downstairs that want entertaining. Uh, the reason, the reason I didn't run on Sunday, um, sorry, the reason I didn't run on Friday was because uh, Thursday night going into Friday morning was one of the worst night sleeps I've had in a long time. Um, so it was very disturbed. Um, so I had not much energy and I sort of slept through uh, when I was scheduled to run in and I had no other time in that day. So that's the, the reason why I didn't run. Not a good enough excuse, I know. I'm sorry. Um, let's take it over. So this is the starting point of this week in my perception, how I felt. And let's review it. So starting with exercise. 4 out of 10. Um, it's just it's just not good enough, is it? Um, when I say that, it's not good enough for what I expect from myself, and I didn't do enough, really. So I ran twice, the first one being very difficult. Uh, I've been climbing, and I've done some control breathing. So it's just one of those things. It's a, it's a dip, which means next week I'll come back better. It, these type of weeks motivate me to do better, so that's a good thing, really. Um, moving on to nutrition, it's five again. Um, again, there's not much I can add to that. I'll explain my next week's target with, with reference to nutrition shortly. Uh, motivation was um, was four out of ten. Um, it was just I just wasn't as motivated this week. It it goes to show like I didn't want to run any day this week, and the days I did run, I didn't want to run, but I got them done. And today, it sort of, I feel like I've ended on a high. I enjoyed today's run. I didn't enjoy. Um, I didn't enjoy Wednesday's run at all, but for two reasons which I can mainly think of. Running in heat makes a ma massive difference because it was cool today, it made so much of a difference. And technology, so actually recording uh, these sessions for the first time on Wednesday actually got on my nerves. Um, not because I don't want to record, it's because my phone's had an update um, and it basically when I auto rotate the phone, or when I rotate the phone it auto rotates so I can't press the buttons and because it was sunny I couldn't see the screen that I was trying to press so it's very difficult for me to record it which was irritating me. I know it's pathetic but these things happen, they eh? first world problems. Uh, moving on to mood, seven. Um, that's good really, I, I, can't, I can't say it's affected my mood. Um, it's been a pattern where it doesn't seem like these runs affect my mood. Um, all the other factors seem to affect my mood as much. They all, all the other factors seem to affect each other except for mood, maybe. I have to review that at the end. Uh, and sleep, as I said, I had a bad night's sleep, so I'm putting that down to five. Um, overall, it's not been quite as good. Still, on average, a good week. Five, still not bad, is it really? But yeah, a couple bad nights, especially that one. Um, so I put that down to five. Uh, so that's the end of this week and we'll have a look next week to see how we're doing in week eight i believe we're getting there almost the end now um so additional target what i was talking about is um i'm going back to basics week one my target was to drink more water and reduce snacks in the evening time i'm going back to that because i feel like that's slowly slipping out especially the water drinking i need to drink more water so back to basics is that's my target that's that's it for this week um, I hope you're still getting on well. I hope you're motivated to exercise. I hope this is helping you. As I keep on saying, please contact me. Let me know. Uh, you can either contact me on Twitter, Steve Owen underscore Jones, or email me. Find me on my UCLH, Steve Owen Jones, and let me know how you're getting on. I'm getting a nice few amount of comments and emails now, which is great. The last thing I want to do is to see if anyone is actually watching the videos to the end. So if you're watching this video right now, comment Tanita in the comment section section down below on YouTube and I will give the first five people it's a bad five, the first five people who comment that a free Tanita measurement. So this is what a Tanita is. Uh, some of you will know, some of you won't. But the first five people who comment Tanita at the bottom underneath this on the comment section on YouTube will get a free Tanita measurement. Obviously, conditions apply, UCLH staff, 
etc. Um, that's it. Have a nice week. I'll see you for week eight.